All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rokhach, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Um, you know, this lesson is going to be about, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai spoke of, you know, bugged out false prophets. Um, so don't really be uh, uh, surprised, you know, if to, to hear even more bugged out uh, uh, false doctrines that, <laughs> uh, you know, compared to, you know, the, the bugged out uh, uh, doctrines that we hear today, there's going to be more and there's going to be even more uh, um, strange doctrines to come, all right? Um, and Yahweh Shai talked about it, the, the prophets talked about it, and the evidence is out here. I mean, you got people saying that John the Baptist um, <laughs> wasn't in the truth. You got people straight up denying, you know, what, what the uh, mark of the beast is, saying that it's, you know, sin, saying that it's um, uh, sleeping with white women. I mean, crazy stuff. Um, but, you know, they're going to wax worse and worse uh, and, and be, be be ready to hear even more uh, uh, bugged out philosophies. But just know that it's, uh, uh, you know, the truth is, you know, our foundation, you know, it's our, it's the chief cornerstone, but to others, it's a stumbling block. You know, the truth is a stumbling block to most. Um, but I'm going to start by reading Matthew 24 and I'll start at seven for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And we, we have seen that, you know, a lot over these past few years um, and it's going to intensify uh, in verse 8 it says all these are the beginning of sorrows <laughs> yeah this is just the beginning you know that, that's if, if you come across a great millstone video and they're talking about prof prophecy uh, you're going to hear that catchphrase it's going to get worse uh, it says then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And a hey, you know the 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 I'll say uh, uh, the hatred towards the prophets are going to intensify too. You know because Yahweh Shai said we're going to be delivered up to be afflicted, and you know some of us are going to have to be martyrs for the truth. Um, and yeah, we, we're hated <laughs> of all nations for. Hey, the, the, the names of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, we constantly push those names. And it offends those who <laughs> who believe in other gods. Because we're declaring that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is the one and true uh, power. Or Yahweh is the one and true living God. And Yahweh Shah is his son. That's his name. And, you know, those people that believe on Jesus or Yeshua, or they believe on, you know, Allah at that for that matter. Um, hey, they, they hate us. Um, but verse 10, it says, And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Yeah, and that's intensifying too. You know, people's, uh, uh, you know, emotional tolerance <laughs> is not uh, nearly as high as what it was before this pandemic. I mean, you still had people that were easily offended uh, uh, before this pandemic, but, you know, ever since this lockdown happened, you know, people have been on edge, man. Um, and then verse 11, it says, and many, many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many, right? Because, hey, during a time of, of struggle, people are looking for answers. Um, and <laughs> so it's easy to be a false prophet, all right? It's easy to just come up with a vain philosophy and say, hey, I, I know a way that that'll get you right. All right. Because, hey, look, I'll, I'll grab uh, Isaiah 30 and 10. Yeah, Isaiah. Well, let me get grab the chapter. Isaiah 30. And I'll start at 9. It says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. <laughs> so you already have people that just want to accept any way except for 
you know, accepting the law, statutes, and commandments of the of the uh, heavenly Father, you know, written in the uh, in in the Bible. In verse ten, it says, "Which say to the seers, see not; and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things; speak unto us smooth things; prophesy deceits." So they don't want to hear the the law, statutes, and commandments of of the Bible, you know, under that who that was uh, divinely. Uh, inspired by Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai, and they don't want to hear the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai or, or the prophecies written of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. They want to hear those smooth things. They want to hear deceits. So they run to any false, <laughs> false uh, uh, doctrine, you know, or false prophet or false teachers that are, hey, prophesying deceits. You know, and then verse eleven it says, "Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path." Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. You know, and that Holy One of Israel is talking about Yahweh Shai. They're saying, hey, get out of my way and cause Yahweh Shai to cease from before us. So if they're not willing to receive Yahweh Shai, who are they receiving? <laughs> uh, verse 12, it says, Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Shai, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression, and perverseness and stay thereon therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall swelling out in a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant so a hey, they're gonna get what's coming to them all right you know all those uh ones that you know despise the word and, and you know add, add you know add, add to the scriptures and you know take away from the scriptures they're gonna be dealt with all right um, back in Matthew uh, 24 and 11, And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Yeah. <laughs> hey, because they're, they're going to realize that, uh, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> that they don't have the true answers when all those um, uh, uh, deceits, you know, all, the, all their uh, false prophecies, you know, come to naught. Hey, they're gonna realize that they've been lied to, you know. And, and when all the things that we've been speaking of comes to pass, they're gonna realize that they've been lied to, you know. That's uh, uh, Ezekiel thirty-three and thirty-three. Ezekiel thirty-three and thirty-three. It says, "And when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them." So a hey, Hey, even though we're not accepted right now, you know, and the things that we say in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shah isn't accepted right now, they're gonna know. All right, when when all the when the when hey when the RFID chip is is being forced upon people, and you know people are killing each other in the streets, and martial law is on every block, <laughs> you know all, all the martial law troops are on every block. You can't go in and out of a city. Um, and, and and hey man just just mass mass death you know cannibalism we've been speaking on that um you know a, a famine of the word we're no longer going to be out there once all that starts to happen hey people are going to know who <laughs> uh that, that 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 a prophet has been among them all right um be it uh you know moving on through the scriptures that i got this is a uh, second uh timothy chapter three Let's see, um, I'll, I'll start at 11, uh, actually, I'll start at 8, now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth, men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith, <laughs> so hey, you, you had the same spirits back then, you know, the, the, the rebellious spirits back then, you know, in the time of Moses and in the time of Isaiah, you know, <laughs> in the time of Ezekiel, <laughs> the ones that wanted to hear the word, you know, and they took it as, as entertainment, but did them not. You know, those same spirits are back today, you know, corrupt minds and reprobates concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. 
<laughs> yeah, because in, in the time when when judgment came, a hey, it was known their folly was manifest. So all these you know false prophets, you know that that claim that they have the truth, <laughs> when their judgment you know manifest, their folly is going to be shown. Like <laughs> like the uh, uh, man that said that he was the God sent comforter, he's dead now, man. I, when when the scriptures say that the comforter shall ab abide with us forever, he's no longer there. That's folly, man. It's evident. You know, it, it, <laughs> hey, but it it doesn't. You know, to to the the reprobates and the uh, corrupt minds, it doesn't become evident until the somebody dies, until there's bloodshed. So hey, they they're gonna stay in that reprobate mind until. You know, the judgment comes until those missiles are fired off. You know, until bodies start dropping. You know, the same must know it after death by pain. Let me grab that. Yeah, so, oh, well, let, me, let me grab the chapter. Get out of here. Uh, Second Ezra is nine. Um, I'll start at nine. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Yeah, and right now, you know, we're, 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 we're in the last times of repentance. You know, you still have liberty to repent. You know, but even in in the time of, you know, the window uh, 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 of repentance, you, you're still going to have people that loathe the law. <laughs> All right, and despise it. And then verse 12, it says, the, son, the same must know it after death by pain. So the, the people that, you know, you're just going to have those two-third rebellious Israelites that can't get right. Hey, but they're going to, you know how they're going to get right? is because, hey, the Most High is going to uh, bring judgment through Yahweh Shai and his angels to kill him. And, you know, through Esau, <laughs> you know, he's, he's going to use Esau to, to uh, uh, Bring that death and destruction on them, you know, to, to whip them, all right? And then when they come back in the kingdom, you know, they're going to understand that, oh, I, I was I was wrong back then, <laughs> you know? So, hey, these people are going to get what's coming to them. Uh, but, you know, continuing on in Second Timothy, it's the third chapter, um, verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience. All right, so, hey, to, to the ones that understand, you know, we, we know the doctrine. That's what comforts us, all right? The manner of life, we know our purpose, you know, to, to, to uh, uh, you know, push this word with all truth and sincerity. Uh, faith, long-suffering, you know, charity and patience. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at I Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord uh, delivered me. So, hey, even though we're going to be found in uh, persecutions and afflictions, hey, we got to have faith that Yahweh Shem is going to deliver us. It says, yeah, and all that will live godly in Yahweh shall suffer persecutions. So, hey, that that's what this uh, uh, faith comes along with is persecutions. You start uh, standing up for the names of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, expect persecutions, expect temptations. Um, and then verse thirteen it says, "But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived." Hey, and that's <laughs> hey, and it's evident, man. We're 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 in those times, all right. We're and really, uh, um. You know, the apostles spake about, um, you know, how um, that, it, you know, the spirit of Antichrist, which, you know, just means uh, uh, not anointed, you know, anti meaning not, 
and then Christ meaning anointed, you know, uh, uh, was already manifest <laughs> uh, uh, in the world. Uh, this is First John 4 and 2. Hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, all right, that's how you say it in the Hebrew, anointed, um, is come in the flesh, flesh is of the Most High, Yahweh. So, hey, there's a certain doctrine that, <laughs> that comes when you start speaking about Yahweh Shai. First, it starts with the name and his image, you know, what he looked like and what he stood for, what, he, what his purpose was. All right, he died for the uh, uh, nation of Israel and for their sins. And ultimately, you know, the, the elect and the one third. All right, and that, and then in his second coming, he's he's uh, coming to deliver the elect of Israel on the one third, and put to death you know these other nations, and, and uh, you know the rebellious two thirds of Israel. All right, so anything outside of that is antichrist. All right, all right, anything that that isn't a hundred percent lines up with the true true doctrine. You know, that's the spirit of Antichrist. So verse 3, it says, And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is not of the Most High. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now is already in the world. So, hey, the spirit of Antichrist has been around for for a while. All right? And uh, um, <laughs> so, and then, you know, going back to Second Timothy, it says they're going to wax worse and worse. Second Timothy 3 and 13. The evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So, <laughs> yeah, they're deceived in themselves, all right? You know, because, hey, even, even if you have people that sincerely think that the mark of the beast is sleeping with white women, <laughs> hey, they're waxing worse and worse. You know, you just... <laughs> Uh, um, uh, what's that in Revelation? It says, uh, let, let them be wicked still. Revelation 22 and 11. It says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So, hey, you just got to knock the dust off from off your feet and, you know, <laughs> hey, because it's more tolerable for them than in the day of Sodom and uh, anger more, so to speak. Um, yeah, they're going to wax worse and worse. It says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So, hey, you're going to see people, you know, get led astray and believe on fa false doctrines. You just got to let them go because, hey, we, you know, at the end of the day, it, it's only going to come down to the elect and the one-third being saved, all right? Matter of fact, let me get uh, our gospel be hid. Second Corinthians 4 and 3. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. So, hey, <laughs> you know, it, it's not, you know, if somebody gets led astray, it's not by, uh, um, you know, the it's not the elect's fault, because, hey, we're pushing this word, you know, and we're pushing it in all confidence you know, all truth and, and sincerity, you know, so if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are, you know, predestined to be lost, <laughs> it, you know, uh, uh, hey, look, look at the, uh, how, how, how much, how many videos, you know, Great Millstone uh, uploads, man, so, hey, we're washing the blood off our hand, you can't say that it was Great Millstone's fault that you were led away from, from the gospel of Yahweh Shai, you know, um, and I, I say that in humbleness, man, because, hey, we, you know, the, the spirit of the Lord has to be on you to, to receive it. And, and you know, we, if, and, <clears throat> you know, we, we have to uh, be thankful 
that uh, Yahweh Bashim Hashai has opened up our minds, you know, to receive this word and pray that he keeps that, uh, you know, beg him that he keeps that spirit upon us. All right, because, hey, hey, when you see uh, uh, two thirds, you know, believing in these vain, you know, philosophies, you know, it, it should really uh, humble you and scare you, you know, put the fear of the Lord on you because, hey, we could easily be like them because, um, you know, the Most High sends strong delusions, you know, and I'm going to get it. This is a uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 7, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, which is Esau, Edom, you know, and he's been revealed. <laughs> you know, you got uh, Edomites making songs about, <laughs> am I an Edomite? Oh, man. Um, but yeah, Esau has been revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So yeah, Yahweh is coming back to destroy and take Esau out of his rulership. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. You know, so <laughs> they, the, the two-third rebellious Israelites, they're going to believe everything that, you know, Satan was set up to do. He was set up to, to you know... Uh, have power on earth and, and, you know, deceive many and to destroy them. So he's going to be successful at it. <laughs> you know, he's going to be able to deceive two thirds of the Israelites. All right. But hey, hey, and Yahweh Shah said, um, uh, if it were possible, uh, yeah. Let me get let me get this one. Yeah, Matthew twenty four, starting at twenty two. It says, "And except those days should be shortened, hey, and the, the, these last days are shortened. They're short as hell. You blink, and you're in next week." This is, uh, "There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened." Then, if any man shall say unto you, "Lo, here is the anointed or Mashiach," or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Mashiachs, false prophets, false people that say that they're anointed, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So that's how, you know, good <laughs> uh, or bad, whichever way you look at it, these uh, false prophets are, are, are in these last days, man. That if it were possible, that they would even deceive the very elect. Hey, but hey, the water y'all that, um, you know, the <laughs> he set bounds that you know the devil can't pass, um, and Lord willing, you know, we be part of that that elect. Um, but yet, yeah, um, let's see, going back to Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse eleven, and for this cause. The Most High, <laughs> Yahweh, you know, through His Son Yahusha, shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So, hey man, that, that's, that's scary, you know. Hey, because I, I've experienced strong delusions, man. You know, where, where the Most High, you know, had, had me uh, subject to, you know, vain um, thoughts. You know, I, there's a one point where you know, the only thought going through my mind uh, was that I was going to reincarnate as, you know, the Most High. And I was like, this is bugged out. And I had to rebuke that thought, you know. But it was so strong that it was like the only thing going through my mind. And I was, I was scared, man. I was like, I know, like, this isn't true. But, like, why? But it was, like, so strong that it, it felt like I, I was, you know, it, <laughs> And then at the same time, like as another strong delusion right after that thought that I was going to reincarnate as an Edomite, you know, but I had to, you know, go into the scriptures and, and, and rebuke those thoughts, man. You know, so a, you know, it, it, those strong delusions can, uh, can be scary, man. 
And if the Lord isn't dealing with you, then he's going to give you over to those strong delusions. All right. Uh, verse 12, tw 12. Verse 12, and it reads that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So, yeah. You know, the Most High will send you strong delusions. If you have pleasure in those strong delusions, then you're going to stay there. And, all right. But if you rebuke them, and hey, resist the devil and he shall flee. All right. The, the name of the Lord is a strong cat, uh, tower. And he that runneth into it are safe. So, hey, we, we have to bring every thought in, under subjection of Yahweh Shem al You know, that's how you abstain from those strong delusions. You can't just accept your fate as, oh, well, I, I, you know, received a strong delusion, so it's, you know, I'll just stay there. And No, man, you got to resist the devil. You know, the, the Most High will, will send you uh, 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 strong delusions to test your faith. See if you'll rebuke that demon, you know. Um, and, and really, that, that's all that we're, we're, these last days, this is all just a test of your faith, you know, that's why, you know, the prophets are going to be persecuted, because anybody, if, if the prophets weren't persecuted, then everybody would be a prophet, all right, but no, this is, you know, a, 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 a grinding, man, this is a, a, a sifting process to see who has the, the, the faith, all right, and that, that's, you know, said throughout the scriptures, you know, I will try them that <laughs> dwell upon the earth. Zechariah, the 13th chapter. All right, but, you know, nevertheless, getting back on these pr false prophets, this is John 8 and 44. It says, You are of your father the devil. This is Yahweh Shai talking. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. All right, so he's he's talking to the wicked Israelites and comparing them that to Esau Edom. He says, "You come from the, your father, the devil, which is Esau." All right, because he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. All right, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. So a. Hey, we, we come in the same spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know, speaking truth. And just because out of smite, just because we're, we come in the name of Yahweh Shai, you know, people don't want to believe anything that we say, you know, because we we, we make bold cl claims in Yahweh Shai, saying that we have 100% truth. And, and it's not of us, but it's of, you know, sound doctrine of the scriptures. You know, we prove all things, we're studious. But, you know, just because we come in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shad, people don't believe us, all right? Um, you know, because they rather run to all these smooth sayings, right? Back in Isaiah 30 and 10. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I had. Um, so with that, Lord willing, this video was edifying and uh, uh, uplifting to the elect of Israel, uh, so that I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakudash, you know, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Shalom.